All right, let's talk about those rapid tests because we're talking about the number of infected people, but if you take an at-home test, who's to say that then you're reporting those numbers? Oh, sure. No, I, th I think it's the numbers that you're seeing of cases is dramatically underreported. That's definitely true. I, I think that, um, but I, I do think this is a, a highly contagious virus, and it is even spreading to some extent among those who are vaccinated in terms of mild disease. But the, that, the most important number, I think, is not the case number. I think the most important number is hospitalizations, ICU admissions, and deaths. That's what you really are trying to prevent. You Basically, what you try and do with every vaccine is, is try and decrease the burden on the healthcare system so you can take care of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's happening now in many hospitals is that because they're overwhelmed, not just in terms of patients that are coming in, but in terms of numbers of staff who are infected, this is certainly true in our hospital, um, you know, we're on the verge of being overwhelmed by, by these viruses. And, and the thing that's most frustrating for me, frankly, is that when we look at children who come into our hospital or come into the intensive care unit, they all, for the most part, have the same characteristic. They're not vaccinated, nor are their parents, nor are their siblings. And that's what's most frustrating. I mean, this was hard enough last year when we didn't have a vaccine. Now we have have a vaccine that can prevent this, use it. If your child's over five, get a vaccine.